Hello Cecil County and the world and welcome to Cecil TV. It's November the 14th and I'm Rob Churnside and I'm pleased to have with me here tonight in the studio Greg Shelton from Chesapeake City with some exciting news about some upcoming events in Chesapeake City. Welcome Greg. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate That's it. my safe and sanitary handshake in this world of germs that we live in. Got it. So tell me about the Poplar Hall Christmas Parade of Horses. So that is Saturday December 10th. It starts at 10 o'clock. Uh, it's the sixth year we've actually done the market. Uh, last year we introduced a parade of horses, a Christmas parade of horses. Uh, it's ex very exciting because Chesapeake City especially has an amazing equestrian background. Loads of history uh, referencing the horse and to bring it into the world of Christmas uh, really feels like such a cohesive idea and we're we're proud last year was a massive success. Loads of people took over Chesapeake City. Uh, there's something to be said about horses kids, families, and Christmas. So it's a Christmas parade and a market on Saturday, December 10th with the rain date as well, just in case. Correct, so that's on the 11th, so that'll be on Sunday. So what can people expect out of the parade and the market? Gotcha, so as far as like a calendar of events of the day, so from nine to 9.45 at the elementary school, we're gonna be doing a meet and greet for everyone to see the horses, introduce themselves, get some selfies and some pictures with the riders, uh, and to learn their disciplines, which is an important feature to this market, because it's not just, we're not gonna see Western riders alone, you would see a lot of disciplines. So you'll see fox hunting teams, you're gonna see the Delaware State Police, you're gonna see jumpers, hunter jumpers, you're gonna see a lot of just different eventing styles, uh, which makes a great time. Um, and at 10 o'clock, the parade will start with a bagpiper, um, which will, you know, you cannot mistake a bagpiper, uh, and then the parade will start. Uh, and it's going to be exciting because last year, if you could look at the way, uh, you know, kids reacted to the horses, uh, it's really, really special. And I'm excited to be at the helm of it, uh, but Chesapeake is a special town. It's my hometown, so it's right, exciting. Right, right. And the market will include... Uh, I understand a food court with all the restaurants from Chesapeake City. Absolutely, beer, Chesapeake City. Wine. Yeah, Chesapeake City to me has some of the best seafood restaurants you're going to find, and I'm happy to say we'll have a food court devoted to all those restaurants. So when you're looking at what the taste of Chesapeake and Chesapeake City is, you'll be able to get them that day, uh, and there'll be beer, so you can actually drink and sip a beer and wine and walk around and shop, uh, and then sit down and eat a, eat a meal too. Buying Christmas presents, right? Absolutely. So uh, the one thing that's a staple about our markets are always that they're handmade. So we were selected by Food and Wine Magazine in 2016 as the one of the 50 best Christmas markets in the United States. Uh, and the reason being for that is because you, you're not going to get uh, anything but handmade items. So the, the artisans that make them have to be there to present and show themselves to the people. So when you go to buy something uh, that's made, you can actually understand how it was made from the actual artisan. That sounds awesome. And you're going to have some celebs there as well, correct? Yes. Um, this will be in the horse parade and something I'm very excited about. Uh, Philip Dutton, who anyone who's in the horse eventing or, or uh, Olympic side of the equestrian side, uh, Philip is probably one of the most accomplished American riders of all time. He started his career in Australia and then came and became American citizen. And he was the helm of the, um, the Olympic team that won a silver medal uh, in Japan and he's won several gold medals, uh, Pan American Games. Uh, he was at the Five Star that's in Fairhill, and uh, he's so, you know, so generous to spend his time in Chesapeake City with us, and I, I'm excited to meet him, and I'm excited for the town and the surrounding towns to meet him too. Oh, that's awesome. Now, what about the Christmas Eve celebs? So, so as far as the Christmas Eve celebs, um, we're really, we're, 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 we're blending the equestrian side with Christmas. Um, in a Victorian town. So really, it's really about starting it off right with the equestrian side. So as far as special guests, he will be the one that everyone's gonna come from, from statewide to meet. And uh, I'm hoping that he'll be riding in a carriage and I think uh, we'll figure out a way to get him sp to spend some time with the people coming into town too. How do you have time to do all the stuff you're doing? You got, in January, you also have your David Bowie show coming up. I yes, uh, so. Night of Stardust will be, uh, will be in January, early January. Uh, that will be Saturday, January 14th uh, at Union Transfer in Philly. So. so that's coming up. But right now, again, Cecil County in the World, December 10th, the Poplar Hall Christmas Parade of Horses and Market. That's Saturday, December 10th in Chesapeake City, starting at uh, Beat and Greet at 930 at the elementary school. Plenty mm -hmm. of ample parking, plenty of food, plenty of fun, plenty of Christmas gifts. And Greg, 
you'll be in the parade or just kind of wandering around? Or? So uh, I will be kind of the MC of the parade. Uh, it's really uh, a chance to really give everyone a, a little bit of background. We'll also be having Wayne Hill, who lives, who used to live in Northeast uh, and in Chesapeake City. Uh, he'll be commentating the event. So when you, when the parade goers go through, the, uh, you, he'll be speaking about the history of where they're coming from, and he'll be doing some speaking throughout the day to remind people of, of, of the history of the horses in Chesapeake City. Like Fred McMurray and June Lockhart. Isn't it <laughs> lovely, June? <laughs> yeah, perfect. Somewhere along the lines. You can learn more at poplarhall.us, of course, our website, and we'll be updating as, as we go, and you can get uh, a good lay of the land there. Well, let's get in the spirit of things. Thank you. You're very welcome. Appreciate it.